The National Military History Museum of Ukraine It was founded in 1998. Uh, 300 meters before the entrance, uh, you, will, you can observe the rest or burnt out mili different military machines of a Russian army, the result of treacherous invasion to Ukraine. suppose a lot of Russian soldiers were killed here, but why? I think only Putin knows of this goal of, of the goal of this stupid war. And the entrance you have possibility to wipe your feet of, of, of the flags Russian Federation and Donetsk Republic. And here is a map of current war between Russia and Ukraine. Different belongings of Russian soldiers, newspapers uh, and other private things. Some different photos, yeah. And here is an law of javelin and an law anti tank missile systems. And here is some layout of <laughs> of local life of Russian soldiers in Ukraine and what they at <laughs> different camps made in Russia. Of course, Russian vodka. Without vodka. <laughs> Russian soldiers don't fight. Further, some a lot of photos, which well known all over the world. It's Kiev, Kharkiv city, Bucha, Gostomi. This is photos, by the way, of mother with gun which were made next day after the beginning of invasion. And uh, next hall uh, there is already uh, regular expositions, a lot of uh, different persons uh, which uh, has some reference to army. <laughs> Uh, not regular army, of course, it was a Cossacks, mostly Zaporizhia Cossacks, Ukraine army at the time, it's 17th, 18th century. Uh, from left side, he was well known Ukraine hetman Bogdan Melnitsky. Not all, but a lot of inscriptions are in English, uh, in English language, so you can navigate uh, this museum independently from translator. And uh, before the uh, stairs to the another floor, there are some photos of uh, sort of soldiers from different armies, uh, where because Ukraine belonged, some parts of Ukraine belong to different empires, Austrian, Hungary Empire. German Empire, Russian Empire, uh, Romanian country, and so on and so on. And uh, this is another floor already. And uh, Ukraine had uh, was the part of Russian Empire for many centuries. So this uh, part of history is dedicated to the mostly to the Russian Empire army.
Yes, and uh, mostly to people because a lot of Ukraine people of Ukraine nations they sought in Russian Empire army. There is one big photo you can imagine which uh, photo camera should be yes here is <laughs> to make such photo it was beginning of 20th century and there is some sh even some short description from asia it's samurai japanese soldier and some swords and knives Here are some things which were found under the water near Crimea. Here is already the First World War and different weapons belong to this period and uniforms. Here is a Hungarian soldier, I think. Helmets of uh, German officers and soldiers. And here is some expositions uh, belong to the this belong to the uh, period of Ukraine People's Republic 1917-1918, very short period, uh, around one year, when the Ukraine was independent, uh, existed as a independent country after the creation and destroying of Russian Empire. And then it was conquered by again by Soviet Union. Here is a uniforms of soldiers in the independent Ukraine. Here is a segment of uh, working cabinet of the last hetman of Ukraine, Sergei Dachny. Here is already the Second World War, very big layout, some battle between Soviet army and German army. Here is Soviet soldier, of course. Some display with weapons, uniforms and other belongings to Russian soldiers and officers. Oh sorry, Russian, <laughs> German soldiers and officers. Here is bunker, yeah, Soviet one. How it looked like inside. Here is already uh, the period of the Second World War. Uh, Deutsche Democratic Republic. <laughs> Uh, is German, yes. Pioneers, yeah, <laughs> local ones. Here are some uniforms of Soviet soldiers and some displays from the countries where they participated 
yeah, in different areas of the world. Uh, it's Hungary, I think, uh, Cuba, yeah, uh, it's uh, Vietnam, uh, it's already Afghanistan, yeah, because a lot of uh, Ukraine people, they served and they, the Soviet army, and they participated in all these worst conflicts. And here is uh, exposition already dedicated to the uh, modern Ukraine army uh, during the period of its independence. Air Force, Navy and other ones. There is another floor, the last floor, and this exhibition is dedicated to the conflict, uh, how to say, undeclared war uh, between Ukraine and Russia in the period 2014-2022. And I think when the museum, museum's people uh, prepared this exhibition, they even uh, couldn't expect that about the war, <coughs> what is going to be 2022 and all these things about their uh, conflict uh, between Ukraine and Donetsk People's Republic and Luhansk People's Republics, which 100% supported by Russia. Of course, at that time, Russia didn't recognize all this help. <laughs> Here is Donetsk airport. By the way, uh, it was uh, built up in 2012 before Euro and existed less than two years. So I think it's an, an uh, championship among all the airports about things very short from the sort of very short existence. <laughs> yeah. Here is Malaysian Boeing before and after. So military national museum of Ukraine. <laughs> 